all right so i have started recording um, this lecture and uh, welcome back again in the second session and the second session of introduction to linguistics okay so um, yeah so the first first uh, session yesterday was uh, yes isra you are right i asked you that do you remember what we did yesterday uh, last uh, sorry in the last session what we studied so in the last class we studied about language i shared a few a couple of definitions by linguists of different times that what they think language is and as well as we studied about the characteristics of language uh, rumaisa is sharing that language is a set of finite and infinite sentences excellent and that was a definition given by noam chomsky and um, uh, you know in the previous class we talked about it we discussed about it i'm really happy that you and please you know sometimes um, if you don't understand in the class uh, during online class please go back and listen to the lecture again because i'm putting those these lectures i'm recording them and i'm putting them on youtube so that you can any time if you have any confusion you can go back and listen okay so uh, someone is saying that uh, you know she or he can't hear me i want to know from you please write here uh, that is my uh, you know if my voice is audible to all of you and it is clear so that i can continue okay yes language is the way to communicate yes thank you so much saleha my voice is audible okay so those of you who are not able to hear me can you please check with your microphone can you please check with your hands free if it is okay okay all right or otherwise don't worry if you miss anything don't panic don't worry i will upload them on youtube so you can watch them later all right so thank you so much in the previous class we discussed about what language is and what are the characteristics of language and today our topic is uh linguistics is a scientific study of language excellent excellent last time we talked about it as well so today our topic is function of language what comes in your mind when you hear the word function uh you know what what comes in your mind when you hear the word function okay let me enter the admit the people you are still joining okay the use of language okay excellent thank you so much okay and i also want to take this opportunity to explain you that in introduction to linguistics um, i will give you in your examination you will be given uh, you know questions three questions or maybe four questions to uh, write the answers okay so each in each class we discuss one question last time for example whatever i taught you last time i can give you a question in examination that what is language write a few definitions by uh, by uh, by linguist renowned linguists in the history and also write out the characteristics of language okay so this was one question jo ki main aapko paper mein de sakti hu to ab aapne kya karna hai ki this powerpoint presentation is with you okay if you want to study deeper you definitely i i may be sharing some notes with you some links with you some pdf files with you okay uh, maybe on sunday so that you can prepare your uh, your questions and answers from there so i will also tell you ki exams mein hum kaise is cheez ko karenge kyunki linguistics jo hai uh, foundation of english ka paper aur jo linguistics ka paper hoga wo dono thode se different honge theek hai आपको जो फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश का पेपर होगा स्टूडेंट्स वो हो सकता है कि मैं आपको एक्सरसाइजेस दूं बिकॉज आई एम टीचिंग यू ग्रामर ओके आई एम टीचिंग यू मैकेनिक्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज का मतलब ये है कि हम रूल्स को पढ़ रहे हैं सो डू यू नो दैट हमने प्रीवियस क्लास में आज यू नो फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश में वट आई डेट आई आई जस्ट शेयर यू नो एंड आई वी डेट वन एक्सरसाइज ऑनलाइन एक्सरसाइज ओके that there was a blank and there were some slash and some words and you were asked to make a complete the sentence by using the correct form of the word and the correct tense so this was one example this was one of the example okay so i will give you a grammar questions okay uh, okay shazmin shazmin okay you can write your confusion i will try to address it so jo foundation of english ka aapka paper hoga wo grammar se related hoga i will also teach you write uh, you know reading skills and as well as um, uh, you know writing skills to so, usme aapke readings bhi honge usme aapke writing writing bhi aayenge main aapko koi topic dungi jisme aapko likhna hoga theek hai so jaise jaise hum aage badhte jayenge i will explain you 
कि आपका पेपर का पैटर्न कैसा होगा राइट बट हाँ जो आपका इंट्रोडक्शन टू लिंग्विस्टिक्स है इंट्रोडक्शन टू लिंग्विस्टिक्स का पेपर जो होगा इट विल नॉट बी एक्सरसाइज बेस्ड इट विल नॉट बी ऑब्जेक्टिव मे बी ओके कुछ आपके टेन या ट्वेल्व या फिफ्टीन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव होंगे जो कि मैं आपसे शेयर करूंगी एक लिस्ट ऑफ एम सी क्यूज ओके और हो सकता है कि आपको दो मिड टर्म में यू विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू राइट टू क्वेश्चन एंड देयर आंसर और थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड देयर आंसर ओके बिकॉज योर मिड टर्म विल बी ऑफ फिफ्टी मार्क्स एंड देन योर टर्मिनल एग्जामिनेशन जो फाइनल आपका एग्जाम होगा दैट विल बी ऑल्सो फिफ्टी मार्क्स तो जिसमें से मे बी आपको फोर क्वेश्चन करने होंगे टेन एम सी क्यूज होंगे तो हम जो फंक्शनल फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश करेंगे वो क्वेश्चन बाय क्वेश्चन करेंगे ओके सो इन द लास्ट क्लास इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी कंप्लीटेड वन टॉपिक दैट वाज अबाउट व्हाट इज लैंग्वेज एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज और ये एक सवाल बनता है आपका जो एग्जाम में आएगा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अनदर टॉपिक दैट इज फंक्शन ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ लैंग्वेज और फंक्शन ऑफ लैंग्वेज आपका दूसरा सवाल होगा सो मे बी इन एग्जाम आई कैन गिव यू अ क्वेश्चन लाइक यू नो all right so everyone so um we were discussing about uh, what kind of questions i will be giving you in the examination so uh, today we have the topic that is uh, function of language okay so when we talk about language as we discussed in the previous class we talked about the characteristics of language okay so language a system of conventional spoken or manual or written symbols by means of which human beings as members of a social group and participants in its culture express themselves the function of language include communication expression to identify play imaginative expression and emotional release okay so let's talk about the uh, functions of language that we have to look at this extreme that we today we will be discussing about the function of language which are mainly two we divide them into two categories micro functions and macro functions a uh, micro functions more important because we will i will be giving you questions from this and macro functions we will touch upon it as well uh, you know but the most important this micro function so let's begin what is the first function okay so the first function is physiological function whenever we talk about a language okay so what is the physiological function of a language that this is releasing your physical and nervous energy and express your emotions i mean emotive and expressive function means that language is not only a means of communication but it also functions and helps us to express our feelings and emotions just take an example is that when ever you are watching tv and you are a cricket match all right sometimes when your favorite player hits um, a sixer what do you do suddenly you will start shouting you will start it praising you will start it appreciating all right knowing the fact that the the sports person doesn't listen to you similarly you see that the match is in the critical situation and um, you know the pakistan imagine that pakistan uh, is now in trouble then pakistan has to win the match and then there is a player at the crease all right so what happens you start suggesting that player that do this and don't do this all right knowing the fact that the the, the sports person um, you know cannot listen to you okay so this is what what you are actually doing you are expressing you are venting out your expressions you are venting out your anger in in a, in in, a, in life it happens that you are uh, you may have different feelings you may experience different feelings sometimes maybe you are in fear sometimes you want to show affection sometimes you are in voluntary verbal reactions in voluntary verbal reaction means that you know out of control i mean you cannot control it all right and how do you express them you express them with the help of a language to curse words i mean something bad happens and um, when we are very angry and then you utter some curse words some bad words on purpose or maybe just randomly okay so this is the physiological function of language and fans of a sport any sports whether you are you talk about cricket you talk about a uh, football any games that you are watching you become so excited you want to vent out your energy you want to vent out your expressions all right that even though that the sports sportsmen they are you know uh, the other side of the camera on television you are watching it but nobody can see you and listen to you still you want to express your feelings and emotions that is the physiological function of language okay so now what is the next it is a uh, phatic function phatic function you can clearly see that it is sociability okay man is a social animal we live in society we interact with people 
So what happens, you know, what are our formal greetings and goodbye manners and um, uh, the, the, farm, the, the, the system that we have and that we follow in our, in our um, you know, culture, all right? So when you are meeting people, what do you say? Hello, how are you, okay? And what comes out? Like if somebody asks you, how are you? Suddenly without thinking, you know, because this is so, uh, uh, you know, beautifully embedded in your brain since childhood, you have been observing it so much around you that suddenly whether even if you are not well suddenly the expression will come out i am fine okay why does it happen this is the fatigue function this is sociability when you are meeting people hello how are you i'm fine okay uh, and then when you are leaving saying goodbye remarks um uh, goodbye it was nice meeting you pleasure meeting you okay so this is the fatigue function of language and uh, uh, you know the the use of phrases such as my stay today and how do you do is characterized by the lack of any informative content and it is intended to link people and make the coexistence peaceful and pleasant you see so these are you know the formal greetings the formal ways that how we greet people how we talk with people because this builds on our interaction this builds on our mannerism that we that we follow when we are meeting people when we are greeting people in our society okay so the phatic function uh, is the use of language is characterized mainly by speech as it is clearly written and it's not only in spoken but in written as well you know when you are writing letters to uh, to your principal when you are writing any official letters so we begin what is the opening the dear sir dear madam and what is the ending yours factually yours sincerely okay so this is the use for the social interaction the phatic function is used for the social interactions Now, what is the recording function? Okay, so the recording function denotes using language to make a durable record of things that ought to be remembered. Okay, uh, imagine that, you know, when we talk about English language, okay, you, you have a subject that is history of English literature. When you study history of English literature, when you study history of English language, how do you how do you know that what happened hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, all right? And even on in every disciplines, we have literature, we have we have information, we have uh, you know we have the cultural and the civilization that have traveled to us, uh, you know, uh, from past. It has only been possible because of the recording function of language. If the languages were not there, were not there, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be um, you know getting this treasure of knowledge. Okay, so when we talk about about history, when we talk about in every discipline, the literature, the, the, the researches, the scientific inventions, everything, whether it, we talk about religion, whether we talk about economics, whether we talk about languages, everything that happened in past, it has been able to come to us and travel to us through the recording function of language. So this is the durable record of the things, okay? Now, what, uh, like in your day to day life, you also not you, you also, uh, you know, this uh, use the recording function of language, for example, that if you are a ritual of writing a diary, so you know, you note down the important points and the important events that take place in your life, and you record them. Or if you want to talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, like your mother, she asks you to go and bring groceries, okay, so she gives you, she hands you over a list of the items. Okay, or she asks you to note it down. So what are you doing? You are recording it. Okay, so this is the short and the temporary purpose of um, uh, using the recording function. Okay, so what is the identifying function of language? Okay, so language is used to identify the objects and events in the world we live in. Without this function, language would be almost useless. And it is thanks to the names of the things that we know what we are talking about. Okay, so uh, like for example, when a new baby, when a baby is born, what the first thing that we do is name it. All right, when any new invention, when any new technology that is introduced we name it so that we can use this in our references, in our language, language references. When we are talking about it, when we are referring to that thing, we can use this in our communication. It makes our life easier. Okay, uh, many primitive societies unable to write, um, you know, believe that names hold great power. Even in Western culture, names are thought to be immensely important. Um, 
for example, that you know we use names to classify different types of things. All right, we have a general word used for for uh, the automobiles as like automobiles and transportation. But how do you identify that what is a car, what is a truck, and a van, and what are the differences? Because based on their size, based on their shape, we have given them names. So everything has a name and everything has its own shape and everything has its own form. And based on that, we uh, are able to identify that. So this is the language that helps us and it is the ident identifying function of language that helps us to talk about those things, to talk about those events, to talk about those festivals, to talk about those incidents that happened, that happened or that will happen in our communication and refer them to uh, and refer them when we talk and when we are writing. Okay, so what is the reasoning function? The reasoning function is basically a tool or instrument of thought. Okay, uh, do you agree that everything, everything, every invention was is the result of an idea or a thought? All right, one more thing that in what language do we think? Okay, we think in the language that we speak, we think in the language that we know. So we all think in a, in, in a particular language, okay? And remember one thing that whatever we do in our life, whatever the actions that we take, the first intimation, the first intimation that we get in our brain, all right? The first thing is the idea. We first think, then we do. We first think, then we speak. We first think, then we write. So this is the reasoning function as it is written that before we say something, we think. And to do that, we necessarily use language. In most cases, it is extremely difficult to think about anything without any use of words. In fact, it is also difficult not to think for a longer period of time as a human, uh, as human brains work all the time processing information. So thus providing us with concepts formulated by means of language. So we are constantly thinking. Similarly, reasoning function may can be, you know, um, used for the connotation, like, you know, we have, we are living in different cultures. So different cultures have the different words and interpretations. They have different beliefs. In some cultures, black culture may be associated with evil or with death or with something bad woman. And uh, while uh, the white color is purity and goodness. Uh, what is the communication purpose? Okay, so uh, the communication purpose probably be pointed at by uh, most language users without major consideration. Uh, okay, so just uh, just think in that way that we have discussed a lot that one of the most important characteristics of the language that we uh, of any languages that we discussed in the previous class was um, communication purposes. Language helps us to communicate. Language helps us to connect with people. And communication is required in all walks of life. Whether you are at your uh, you know, home setting, you have to talk to your family members or whether you are at workplace, you have you are working and you have to uh, you know, conduct a meeting and you have to make your, um, you know, the subordinate understand what is the task or whether you are at school or at university communicating with your teachers and with your fellows. So communication function is it, uh, you know, is the part of our life, all right? And because, because of this, we are able to interact and connect with people, all right? And, you know, in our day-to-day -day life, we do, we, we, we do so many activities and functions, like, for example, we request, we apologize, we order, we inform, we promise, we refuse. These all are the reasons of communicating our ideas. What is the pleasure function? Okay, the pleasure function of languages. Okay, if you if you like to read poetry, you will see that in poetry, the 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 combination of the words and the structure of a sentence is more of a very rhythmic. It follows a rhythm. It follows a certain uh, you know you can say arrangements that you feel as if it is very musical. It is very poetic. All right. Uh, other than that, you know, when we speak generally or when we read prose, so it for it it, it is um it doesn't follow very uh, uh you know any sort of such things like you know it uses proper language mechanics, but you might have read poems, you might have um, uh, you know seen that in poetry the arrangement of a sentence is little bit you know a uh, change. Uh, the words that the poet tries to use for you know use the language that that follows the rhythm rhyming word. It is because it gives us pleasure. 
when you listen to music, your favorite song, you see that why you are so attracted towards the lyrics. Why do the lyrics inspire you? The reason is that it is written in such a way that it pleases you. It gives you pleasure. All right. So what are the two, uh, you know, there are two terms that you can see assonance and alliteration in poetry. What is assonance? This is assonance. That assonance is the repetition of vowel sound. Okay. Like clap your hands and stamp your feet. Try to light the fire. And another one, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. So can you see this vowel, uh, you know, uh, you, the setting and the arrangement in these sentences, our uh, sound and I, our uh, sound. Okay, so these, these, these are vowels and they are following a certain rhythm that gives beauty to when you speak and when you write something. Look at this. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, so I mean, if you know about tongue twisters, uh, sometimes you may play these activities. What are tongue twisters? Look at this. So as we have studied assonance, and I told you that assonance is a repetition of vowel sound, okay, that, that also helps you, uh, you know, compose a sentence that is more of, has got the rhythm. Similarly, alliteration, alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound. Look at this example. Uh, Betsy bought bigger bottoms for baby Billy. Okay, so this is uh, this is a beautiful example. That B is a consonant sound. Samantha saw seven silly soldiers selling strawberries on Saturdays. Okay, so this is sell sound. And um, and the previous slide that I showed you, uh, she sells uh, seashells uh, by the seashore. So this is C uh, sir and sure sound that is that is repetitive in the sentence. Okay, so it is helping you to uh, create a kind of a rhythm and in your poetry, in your writing, that is speak. Okay, so those were the uh, functions, uh, micro functions of language. Okay, now let me share with you the All right, so we have studied a function of uh, our language and uh, micro functions of language, okay, because this is very important and this is what I will be giving you in examination. So, thank you so much.